Hello and welcome. My name is Heroin Bob and we're going to Bob Buys. So I normally go to places like charity shops or stores and retail locations to buy stuff for hopefully really cheap to flip on sites like Amazon, Etsy, and eBay for a profit. Uh, I'm back at the hoarder house. I didn't think I was going to get to come back, but the owner has graciously allowed me back in after a apparently very successful estate sale because it is very empty in here compared to what I have seen in here before. So we're going to see if, uh, anything is left and if there is take it with me <laughs> there is also random doggo that's going to be running through here again but as you can see it is like wait there used to be a piano there and uh doggo hello doggo thank you i was having difficulty operating the door what's this this is Japanese recipes. Where's the bunny? He's right behind the corner there. Oh, there is a bunny. Wait, it's gone now. Huh? Did you go off in there? Yeah. Fish? The bunny ran away. Louis, Louis knows that word, don't we? You're catching it. Louis like bunny. He's not as excited about squirrels, it, or bunny, as he is squirrels, but. Wow, this is like empty. This would be a nice little room. Well, yeah, now that it's not all full of crap. You need to take that bunny off of it. Because it's done. You have to sunroom and keep all the sun out of it. Oh. So, I'm definitely... I've, so, I went to the room with the buttons in it that I had really hoped was going to have more buttons, but there wasn't. I did find uh, a 100% wool beret that hadn't been eaten by moths and a whole bunch of vintage seam tape. So, I'm going to keep that. I really like this one. I just... Wish the rattan thing was still there because it's supposed to have a handle like this one does, and this one's missing a lid. I think this one is because it's blatantly not American. Because <laughs> blatantly not American. Because <laughs> it has the little Japanese symbol on it, and also all the artwork. Yeah. And... It's very dirty. Yes. Most everything I've pulled out of here is very dirty. <laughs> This one actually was put on the oven and somehow the sticker didn't melt off of it. That's a high quality sticker. <laughs> Hello, doggo. You're being a good doggo. Yes, you are. Who are these bottles for? I've seen these pretty regularly. I don't know. I'm guessing they had like oil or vinegar or something in them. Just on them. You got a five finger vase there. Hi. So this was the room or the bedroom that had all of the vintage holiday in it. And as you guys can see, it's pretty empty now. Hello, doggo. It's very empty. Ooh, what is this? That is very, very 60s. Wait, what words did you just say with your mouth? <laughs> the little um, heavy duty handles mounted all over the bathtub. So you don't fall mm -hmm. over so you can get out of the desk. Yes. There's a bunch of them. Yes. Hello, doggo. <laughs> it's gratuitous amounts of doggo. Serving dish with candy in the American tradition. Dozens of uses, many of which are to sit here and not be used. I mean, I mean, they're all new old stock, I guess. Although they probably all have been used, they just are still in the box. Do they have a? Do they have a UPC code? They do not. Contains one footed glass dish and one bag of candy. Seems as though they have eaten the candy. Ooh. Vintage icicles. So, I think I'm going to take all of that. Aviation stuff's popular. Well, it's not just aviation. People avi like aviation stuff. Well, it's not just that it's aviation stuff. Like, I don't see any sold comps on eBay whatsoever. And... 
there's a lot of this like oh no this is like almost a whole cereal set oh look here's number one somebody really really wanted to be a stewardess well i don't think she made it because otherwise why would she be here this one is kind of some of the like this is so cool. The guy that owned the place, her husband died in the late 80s, early 90s, was Air Force pilot. Mm. Maybe. I don't know if he did commercial after that or not. Well, I like ephemera, so we are taking the ephemera. Glorified fasting. Why is there a baby on this? Because you shouldn't feed babies too much. They grow too fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> I found myself a hat. I think it's just a little bit too small. Bella, what are you doing? Also, look at this amazing bathroom. It's pink and blue. <laughs> Pastel. <laughs> what a lovely Formica countertop. And nice... Uh, mid-century modern detailing there. I think I'm taking the hat with me. The hat's coming. And see, pieces of furniture like this make me sad because literally everything about this table is fine. It just needs the veneer to be replaced. And I just don't have time or space to do that. But like the rest of it's fine. It's just that. Also, I cannot believe how empty this garage is now. I mean, granted, there's still a lot of stuff in it, but like, it's got half the stuff. Also, if you hear random ticking, it's this clock that like will tick and then it will stop and it will tick and then it will stop. See? So I found a bunch of the New Yorkers in the garage. Now the covers, just the covers, not the actual like full Han freaking magazines are selling for like $12 a piece on eBay. So I'm gonna take all of these with me. Also, I'm really sad that these are still here. They're like gorgeously painted. They are very broken though. Most of them are very broken. But all these plates are still here. They're unmarked, which is probably why they're still here. Very pretty though. Also, all of these uh, pieces are coming with me because this is the thing that we talked about when I first, this is all restaurant wear and it's driving me insane that I do not know what this is from. So I'm going to take all of this with me as well. I think that's it for the hoarder house, truly it for the hoarder house this time. Uh, I was able to pull out some vintage ephemera, um, which I should be able to sell. I pulled out some, you know, little sewing supplies, a handful of buttons, which is what I really was hoping would still be there and is not. These are literally just the buttons I picked up off the floor. <laughs> I found two hats, two vintage hats. One I think I will probably be keeping because it's a very nice summer hat. And, um, and those bowls, those restaurant wear bowls that I like, I kept showing you guys. I need to do some more research on them. I feel like they're from a train. Like, I feel like they're a train service. So I will be, I will be doing some research on those. But this was a very awesome opportunity. I'm still very happy that I got a chance to do it. Hopefully he will buy another hoarder house sometime in the future and I will have another opportunity to go through and pick it as clean as I can. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Hero, hero. Hero, hero. Hero, hero. I wanna be a hero, hero. Oh, the hero.